Uh, in order to prepare for a mission, the most important thing is that you have to know exactly what constitutes mission success. You have to know what the objective is. Uh, and it sounds basic, it sounds obvious, but once you have that clarity around what the objective is, then you can start your planning. Once you build, start your planning, there are three real principles that you're using to plan an operation. Surprise, speed, and violence of action. The idea is that you want to surprise your enemy, and then you want to hit them fast and hit them hard. And if you're able to do all of those things, there's a very good chance that you'll achieve your objective. And is it true that through some of these missions, specifically the Osama bin Laden mission, there were photos of him that people were actually used in, tra in the training? Before you actually go on one of these missions where you're, you're tasked to look for a specific person, you actually study as much information and intelligence as you can. And so when we were in Iraq, if we had a photograph of someone, we'd absolutely use the photograph. If you have a physical description, you'd study that physical description. You try and learn as much as you possibly can about the person so that if you get them on target, you'll be able to easily identify so them. So when you say use the photograph, you mean shooting at that photograph. Oh yeah, sometimes, you know, one of the things that we would do, this was, was back in, in our training, but uh, I can tell you Navy SEALs have taken thousands of shots, th hundreds of thousands of shots at the likeness of Osama bin Laden. <laughs> so they, they do this, you know, in part it's motivational. This was always something that was important to the whole SEAL community. Uh, and other times you're studying those photographs in order to make sure that you, you really see who the target is.